Captain's Log, December 15th, 2023. It's about 6.30 in the afternoon, and I feel awful. I had surgery for a hernia on Wednesday, so two days ago, and have been in incredible pain ever since. Like, some of the, the pain and sensations I was having before the surgery seem to have gone away, but, like, the pain from the surgery itself is worse than the pain I was experiencing. However, I know it's just temporary, so I'm just suffering through it as best I can, staying jacked up on my oxycodone and my uh, muscle relaxer, methocarbamol. It's about time for me to take another one. I can only take them every six hours. Really, I can only tell that they're helping for maybe about three or four, so that's kind of a bummer. But yeah, like, it is... They did three incisions on the left side of my abdomen and then one right above my belly button, which is where my hernia was. I can tell that the swelling that I had right here <clears throat> from uh, what, whatever was going on with the hernia, like it's already gone down some. So that's a good sign. Uh, my husband did not take good notes when the doctor talked to him, so I'm keen to talk to my doctor on Monday and get the exact details of what they found. Like he said that she said something along the lines of um, my hernia was tangled up around like some fatty tissue or something like that. And that that's part of what was causing me so much pain. But like, uh, you know, you use your abdominal muscles for a lot of stuff. So it's really hard to move around with, you know, like uh, after having your abdominal muscles like cut into and stuff. Um, I've been really struggling to get out of bed. Like I just, I can't, my bed is high up and it's kind of soft and uh, I have to have help getting out of it. Like I, I mean, one morning I, after uh, almost, almost 10 minutes, I managed to kind of, you know, just like throw myself off the bed by wiggling around enough, but it was incredibly painful. And then just walking around the house is painful like bending, sitting, standing, you know, I just try to stay still as much as possible, but I am supposed to get up and walk around periodically, but today I decided I would try sleeping on my sofa, which is lower to the ground, and then I can, there's more support there for me to use my hands to help pull myself up to get up, and that was definitely better. But my uh, my throat is still real dry because they had to put a breathing tube down my throat for surgery. And yeah, it's just, uh, I'm fatigued, I'm tired. The medication I'm on, it helps with the pain and the muscle stuff, but it also makes me really loopy, really tired. And I think the pain pill causes me not to be able to like see very well. Like I can't, like I have to try extra hard to read, like things are a little blurry. Aside from that, you know, I've just been resting. I did spend a good bit of time yesterday. I made some new pieces from my COVID diary series, and I'm very happy with how they turned out. Um, I've got this sort of like photo collage journal scrapbook grungish look kind of thing going on for um, a good chunk of my COVID diary series. It's a, it's a style that I really like, and um, I just updated my portfolio site. You can go check it out, carolrecord.com, COVID Diaries, Disconnected from Reality. At least that's what we're calling this series. It started, the collage series started with a set of three images, one for each, I guess, like significant theme in the delusions I experienced during psychosis. This is the language we use right now because it's the language I used at the time to talk about it. Um, and then I made three more that were about specific moments in it. Um, praying to wake, which is when like uh, God ripped the IV out of my arm to wake me up. Um, one called Wake Up, which is like a, about some things he said to me in this video that he made for me. And then one called Double Vision, which is um, I already have one kind of talking about my out-of-body experience with being in the clock and vice versa, but I wanted to do another one. I like how they turned out. Um, I submitted one set of three 
to one art show and one set of, and the other set of three to a different art show. And I'm hoping that, I mean, hopefully I'll get something in from both series in these shows, but, um, surely, surely something will make it into at least one of these shows. These are stories that I, I really want to get out there. I really want to work on. I've been wanting to work on my COVID stuff for most of this year, but I've been busy trying to wrap up Lumen, enjoying what's possibly my last year of freedom for some, quite some time, traveling on and stuff. And yeah, and so aside from that, I'm currently in Alabama. Coral and I are supposed to go back to Ohio in a few days, though I don't know that my body will be up for it. We might have to wait till mid next week, which will be a bummer because we were wanting to spend like our first Christmas in Ohio, in Ohio. And we'll get up there before Christmas Eve, but we haven't even decorated our tree yet. So we'd get up there and like have a day to decorate our tree and stuff if we have to kind of postpone. My mom had surgery on her leg today and supposedly that went well. She had like a big, like, I don't know if it was a benign tumor or something right under her right knee. And I can't believe that she has been living with that for several years now because she had surgery on it a while back and apparently they didn't get all of the bad tissue out so it kept growing and expanding so yeah that's not great and uh but hopefully yeah her surgery went well and all that stuff and uh anyways i've just i haven't been able to do much so i've been talking on the phone when conscious and I thought I was going to work at my computer, but honestly, I'm too tired. I've only been off the sofa for an hour, and I'm ready to go back to sleep. So I guess that's what I'm going to go do. I wish I could use all of this downtime to get caught up on work. And I have been slowly poking at things. But I have a long to-do list of things that I've only barely um, touched. So send me some good vibes, please. Um, it'd be nice if I got to a point where I'm not in so much pain. I have to take all this medicine since the medicine like really makes me drowsy. Um, and if you can avoid it, I highly recommend don't ever get a hernia in your abdomen. Like, uh, I know that people, usually people get them in their groin. Get it in your groin. Mess up your groin, guys. Like, uh, you know, it's still going to hurt. But you know what? Like, you need your, your abdominal muscles for way, for almost everything, you know. I don't think you need your groin muscles for that many things. So, uh, yeah, like if you could control where you get one, if you get one, uh, yeah, don't choose your, don't choose your belly button area. It hurts like a bitch. Ow. Ow.